folks, how's it going? I'm here driving in Northern California, just leaving the town of Ukiah, which is where I'm uh, staying, um, house-sitting for my mom, uh, who lives in, in Ukiah here. I'm in the area where I was raised. I was uh, raised outside of the small town of Willits, uh, here in Mendocino County, about an hour from the coast, and on Highway 101. So this is Highway 101 that I'm uh, driving on right now. So here I am driving north, up to Willits, the town where I was raised. Uh, they have a big 4th of July, uh, you know, parade and rodeo and all kinds of stuff going on. So happy 4th of July. Um, happy, uh, what is it? 230 something birthday America, whatever it is. I'm not quite sure what I'm actually going to do. I have a couple of good friends in the area, old friends, who I've known since roughly first and second grade. One of them, Abram, I was kind of trying to, to meet up with, uh, but I think he's over on the coast um, at the moment. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of check out um, Well, it's wander around a little bit, see, I don't know if, you know, it's like noon, I might have missed the parade, it's going to be getting hot, but uh, otherwise I might uh, head for the river, the Eel River is kind of the ultimate California, you know, Northern California swimming spot where I would go swimming when I was a kid with my family and with friends and stuff. So there you go, that's the general plan. Just a uh, random Northern California, summertime, hot, sunny, um, exploring day, and uh, we'll see what transpires. All right, here we go. And here we're coming into Willits. As you can see, looks pretty exciting. It's just under 5,000 people. We'll get to downtown in a couple of minutes here. It's kind of spread out. So this is the south edge of town. So I just stopped at the Safeway there. Got a juice, Daily Roots, beet and like kale and carrot and like a whole bunch of stuff. Looks pretty good. Whoa, that is intense. Meanwhile, not a whole lot uh, going on. I obviously missed the parade. So I'm just going to stop in the uh, downtown area here, which we're coming into. Just walk around a little bit, drink my juice, see if I happen to run into anyone familiar. Stop by the park there. And then probably head for the river. Definitely a good place to be on a hot summer's day in California. And here's downtown. You can see kind of uh, old-timey buildings. When I was growing up here, this was the one and only stoplight in town. So this is the city park where I spent a hell of a lot of time when I was a kid. That's definitely a whole new uh, playground setup thing there, but these swings, I'm sure, are the same ones that were here 30 years ago. <laughs> this is where the action is. This is the other part that's just a couple of blocks away. I knew people had to be doing some barbecuing and drinking and talking and whatnot somewhere. And a little music going on here, it looks like. So there's the rodeo fairgrounds on the other side of that fence there. Doesn't look like anything's going on at the moment though. Nobody in the stands there. Probably they'll wait till it's cooling down maybe. That statue of that guy with the hat has been there since I was a kid. Oh yeah, horseshoes. Definitely a class 
1906 small town California 4th of July experience. Grabbing some lunch. So coming up here on the left is Sherwood Road. That is the road that you drive about four or five miles out and I was raised out there. And here's the high school. Well, it's high, home of the Wolverines. I went to high school there for two years, ninth and 10th grade, and then moved down to the Bay Area and uh, went to two different high schools there. Um, Skyline High School in 11th grade and then Berkeley High School for 12th grade, which is where I graduated from in 1989. All right, this is the north edge of town here. Gonna head north, uh, I forget, 20, 30 miles, something like that, and then you turn onto this other little road that winds along the Eel River with awesome swimming spots. Highway 162 towards Covalo and Round Valley. That is the road that I would take that goes along the Eel River. Um, it was only about 10 miles or so north of Willis as it turned out, so uh, pretty close. Coming up here, I'll take a right, and then it winds along the river and just going to uh, look for some good spots. There's a few that I've been to before, but it's been a while, so I kind of don't remember too well. So you can kind of see the river from the road. So you can't go wrong. There's lots of spots along the way. All right, found a nice shady spot to park here and a uh, Really awesome spot it looks like. However, the getting down to it, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Don't think I've ever been uh, to this spot before. There it is, check out that awesome, cool green water. However, there isn't exactly a path going down there. But that's no reason to uh, not give it a try. I think I can kind of go down this rock here and then if I can get down to there, then I'm good to go. We'll see how it goes. Might be a little bit tougher getting up here. I'm sure I can figure it out though. Oh yeah, no problem. Not exactly a good beast or anything, but that is a nice swimming hole. All right, I came around to the other side here. A little bit uh, better spots for hanging out on. There are actually some uh, great spots with nice like sandy beaches along the river um, further downstream that way. Um, but I suspected those would probably be kind of busy with other people. There were quite a few uh, other vehicles along the road there. So I figured there was nobody else parked in that spot there. So this would be a nice quiet spot. This is redneck territory. People can be a bit hooliganish and uh, especially if there's drinking going on, so it's better to find a spot to yourself if you can. Oh yeah, hell of a nice spot. You obviously want to be really careful looking for uh, rocks in this kind of water especially, because it's a little bit murky. You can see a few fish swimming down in there. And the uh, sandals are a good idea for swimming this kind of a situation because of the rocks, so then you can get out easier without cutting your feet. All right, I can see a good spot here to jump in. Here we go. Definitely what 
the day called for. There you go, the ultimate California summertime experience. Pretty awesome, quite a spot. Definitely gonna hang out here and uh, soak up the sun and head on back to town. <laughs>